one of the forgotten holidays. In the 23rd chapter of Leviticus, Moses wrote about the seven days throughout the year which God commanded the nations of Israel to observe as holy days. They are the Feast of Trumpets, the Day of Atonement, the Feast of Tabernacles, the Feast of the Passover, the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, the Feast of the First Fruits, and the Feast of Pentecost. These special days were to be observed and celebrated once a year from generation to generation, forever. The Jewish people continue to celebrate these holidays even today. The Gospel of John mentions several times that Jesus had gone to the temple during a holiday. This was not unusual because God called all the people of Israel to pilgrimage to Jerusalem three times out of the year. In the spring, they would celebrate the Passover, then the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, followed by the Feast of the First Fruits. In early summer, they would celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. Then in the fall, they would again celebrate the High Holy Days. The Feast of the Trumpets, the Day of Atonement, and the Feast of the Tabernacles, all three celebrated in the fall. Each of these seven Levitical holidays is layered with biblical meaning, meaning that is important to the Jewish believer, but also to the Christian. Why? Because each of these holidays has been or will be fulfilled by Jesus, the Messiah, the Christ. The Feast of the Trumpets, this holiday is celebrated in the fall. It is the first of the High Holy Days. In Hebrew, it's called Yom Turah. Translated, this means the day of the blowing of the trumpet. But why is the trumpet blown? The trumpet is blown as a warning to prepare the people for judgment, the coming of the Messiah. When we realize this, we can understand why the whole month before the Feast of Trumpets is observed, traditionally, as a time to get ready. It is a special time to read the prophets and to pray for the dead relatives. The Feast of Trumpets is the day of the Lord, the day when the trumpet will be blown, the Messiah will revive the dead, and the Jewish faith. The New Testament also supports this belief. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, we read, For the Lord himself shall descend with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, the dead in Christ shall rise first. And then we who are alive shall be caught up in the air to be with the Lord. Many people believe that this represents the translating of Christian believers during the end times. Often this is called the rapture. The idea that the Feast of Trumpets represents the rapture is supported by the activities following the holiday. The ten days after the first day are called the days of awe, or the days of repentance. During this time, the Jewish people will go to a river or a body of water. They will empty out their pockets and shake the crumbs and the dirt into the water. It is a symbol of their desire to be forgiven, that their sins be washed away. The High Holy Days are known as Feast of Judgment, the Feast of Trumpets, representing the beginning of judgment. Rabbis believe that the books in heaven will be open that day. They believe these books are to determine man's eternal state. What are these books? They are the Book of Life, the Book of Death, and the Book of Indecision. It is believed that on that day, people who are holy and good will be written into the Book of Life. Those who are totally evil will be written into the Book of Death. Those people who are neither totally good or bad will not be judged yet. They have until the Day of Atonement to repent and turn to God. The Jewish people today send each other's cards on the Feast of Trumpets. The cards read, May your name be written in the Book of Life. In the New Testament, the Book of Revelation, John talks of a first and a second judgment. In the fourth chapter, he is witness to the opening of the book by the Lamb. He is also, also witness to the blowing of the seven trumpets in heaven. And when he finally witnesses the second judgment, where all the people who have ever lived are judged, and those not written into the book of life will be thrown into the lake of fire, or the second death. Judgment, preparation, repentance, and the blowing of the trumpet, all are important parts of this exciting holiday. Whether we decide to make these holidays a part of our own family tradition or not is of no major consequence. However, the meanings behind them and the past or future fulfillment of Jesus are very important. Comprehending the fullness of what God has done, is doing, and plans to do is exciting. 
This knowledge gives us a more common ground to stand upon with our Jewish brothers. We can know more of God's timeline and be prepared for its coming to pass. La, 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 la.